Chinese agricultural methods haven't changed, basically, in thousands of years. But this woman works with a primitive wooden plough, woman and mule, forcing it on its rough way through the hard, resisting soil. Rice comes first in cultivation, sugar cane, ground nuts and sweet potatoes are subsidiary crops, and vegetable farming is rapidly increasing. Buffalo are bred for farm use, such as plowing and harrowing. Sheep are grazed on the slopes of the foothills sweeping up to the mountains, but the dominant note of the present sounds with the roar of the modern tractor, for the more progressive wealthy farmer seeks modern aids. Rice, staple diet of the southern Chinese. The better fields yield two harvests a year. Plying the sodden paddy fields is arduous work, but impervious to hardship, the old-time farmer clings to the ways of his forefathers, rolling his fields with a crude roller, obtaining the life-giving water for irrigation by the most primitive means, and the painstaking farmer utilizes every strip of available land, terracing even the lower slopes of the hills. Land girls figure prominently in the overall picture, for in the farming community, the women work side by side with their men. This girl is erecting a kind of straw basket, which will ultimately hold the reaped paddy. The whole spread of the busy fields is a reminder that to these people, rice is the staff of life, and that the good earth yields her harvest only to ceaseless toil. Back-breaking work, it must seem, to our Western eyes, accustomed to more up-to-date methods in the kindlier soil. Hard, unremitting labor for men, women, and beasts, as the patient oxen strain at the wooden plough to cut the thick, dark mud into furrows.